Oh, siblings, welcome back to Afternoon with the Medium. It's me, the Medium, back again. So, we took a little break, Medium, myself and I. You know, I'm three people in one, as we are. It, 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 ego and super ego. I know big words, I throw them at you. Anyway, today we're back with the Monster Book. Yes, the Monster Book. I know by popular demand by me. Wait, is that blood? And the topic today is not ghosts, it is mer people. Now, in the monster book, it only talks about mermaids. Mermen are vastly unexplored in this book, and I don't really... I don't know many mermen. You see, a lot of them are ashamed. Yes, ashamed. Because their wives get all the credit. They, they look cool. They, you know, they have the little mermaid. There's not the little merman. It's just some little mermaid. Also, why are they called mermaids? They're not maids. They're women. That's what my girlfriend told me to say. So, mer people! Bam! Or, woman. This is a blonde woman. You can tell because she has blonde hair. What color are her eyebrows? Her eyebrows... Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. She dyes her hair. Look, her eyebrows are brown. Ho, oh, oh, we already found her. See, but the thing is, mermaids are very... Mer people are very vain. They don't have a lot of veins. Let's see. There are no veins, be but they are vain people. Because they love their looks, they like their jewels, all of them. See, the thing about mer people, mermaids, I suppose in this case, mer women, if you want to be refined, they uh, they have big jewels, and I can't talk about them because I I am happily with a woman, but you can see, look at those big jewels, all there. They got an armband, they got more jewels, they got pearls, pearls, pearls are just classy. Oh my gosh. This, this woman has kind of white in her hair. She's an old merl person. Oh my. Anyway, so let's see what the book has to say. It's not as interesting as perhaps, you know, Leviathan, I had more to say, but my people, my maids, you, you know about them. So it says here, the hair flowing locks are my maids pride and joy. You, when you can't really do much about, you know, your legs, you can't wear dresses, you gotta focus on the hair. She's, she has always oh, oh she has a silver mirror. She's a classy lady, you know, non-classy mer people have a bronze mirror, but she has a silver mirror because she's a classy mermaid. Okay, the skin is flawless. That feels like an attack. I'm sorry, we can't all have flawless skin like the mermaid. They may have a greenish tinge. Ooh, that's new. Is she always sick? Is she always a little under the weather? Or well, maybe she's dating Leviathan. Maybe some of his green rubbed up rubbed off on her. <laughs> upper body she is a looks like a beautiful woman shocking this is right here she looks like a beautiful woman on the upper body you couldn't tell could you and she's very attractive especially to lonely sailors oh no 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 you might be like medium why can't a sailor just call facetime his lady love oh. This is not recent stuff, my friends. This is... Mermaids are old. Way back when, before we had the FaceTime and the Skype, we didn't have the ghost time and the ghost friends. We just had to, you know, we had to sit on the ship and be like, I'm bored. There's no women. Women are allowed. We didn't let women on the ships. You know, we wouldn't have lonely sailors if women were allowed on board and where we had female companions. And, you know, if the sailors had women, their girlfriends... But we, they said, no, 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 no women allowed. So we can't, we can't, this is why we have mermaids and why they kill so many men, because we didn't treat women equally. Bam! If you're lonely, you, you have, you feel lonely, you're sad. I'm trying to help you put into the character, you know. If you're sad, you're lonely, you know, you see mermaid, you go, she got big cheeks, but she got even bigger hair. Hair's very important to the mermaid and to the man. Continuing. The lower body is like a fish. It's a plot twist, you did not see that coming. It's all scaly and weird. Now we get to story time. Look at this mermaid. She clearly evil. She clearly like ha ha. Let's let's do what her doing. She goes, ha ha ha. I killed the sailors. That's not very nice, but she's doing it. So the story goes. Uh, you've heard the story before, I'm sure. So imagine you're on a ship, creakity, creakity. You hear the sound of water, whooshity, whooshity. There's no ghosts, no ghosts in sight. So you're kind of bored. I'm trying to, I, I help for these stories. Medium help you get into character. 
you hear a beautiful song. Like, ooh. You have to move your blanket, of course, because we're all mediums here. You do. Ooh, you hear a beautiful song. Probably sounds like Barbara Streisand. You know, everyone knows Barbara. So imagine it sounds like that. You go, oh, that's a very nice voice I'm hearing. And it's singing a song about Don't Rain on My Parade, which is funny because it was just storming at sea. So you hear that song and you go, oh, that woman, it's enchanting. And then, uh oh, you go under a spell. You start to wibble wobble. You know, you don't really go into spells like this unless you're facing a very powerful ghost. So you kind of wibbledy wobbledy. And then, uh oh, you feel the call, the pull, the sailor feels the urge. Your blanket's getting pulled in a direction. And you feel the urge and you see, what is that in the distance? A beautiful woman. Of course, this one looks a little evil. Look at her eyeliner. Oh yeah, that's eyeshadow. I don't know makeup. I'm a ghost hunter. She, and you know, she look evil. But imagine she didn't. Imagine she looked like your girlfriend. Oh, imagine she looked like someone else's girlfriend in my case. So you imagine, oh, you see her, and you go, oh, you beautiful. But then you're in the middle of a storm. Uh oh, the creakety creakety was not just normal boat sound. This is a bigger boat sound. So then you hear, uh oh, oh. <laughs> No one's manning the ship. The sails are losing control. Bam! You hit rock. And you're like, oh! You're in the water now. You can't see me, but I'm in the water. Here, I'll do it from a different angle. <laughs> My back. Uh-oh, we're not gonna... We probably aren't gonna make it this time. We're not gonna make it. And then you see in the distance, Oh, snow! Oh, ghost! It was a mermaid! And we're dead. <laughs> Mermaids, in this case, they just big pranksters, you know? They think, oh, I'm just gonna make your ship fall over and drown. They just big kidsters. They don't realize that you're going to drown. They're like, well, you can't swim like me, you know? So you can't, you couldn't, you gotta blame them. And as awful as it sounds, we wouldn't have many ghost ships. If mermaids didn't wreck men, we would not have many ghost ships or ghost sailors. So she she held the ghost business back in the day. So we got to appreciate the mermaid. They don't come around anymore because they feel very self-conscious. Science says they aren't real. So the book says that uh, they are in every ocean. So no one is safe from the mermaid. Unless, of course, you don't like the ladies. In which case you won't. Definitely safe. The mermaid has no effect on you. They are apparently early stories from ancient Babylon from 7,000 years ago. Oh my gosh, they are old. These are old stories. But you know, they're good stories. They make for a good story. When you're at sea delirious because you didn't eat your veggies, you got scurvy, you couldn't probably see some stuff. Some people saw water. Other people saw mermaids. So the most latest, latest idea was in 1961, which for some of my viewers, they'll say, oh my gosh, that's hundreds and hundreds of years ago. No, 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 you silly billies. That's barely, you know. Oh, don't make me demand. It's only 60 years ago, almost. 59 years ago, you silly beans. It wasn't that long ago. Isle of Man, which is a ridiculous name, I hope I do not offend any ghosts from there. I need your business. Held a fishing competition where a prize was offered to capture a mermaid. No one claimed the prize, but many sightings were seen. You might be wondering, ghost mermaid? Okay, mermaids when they die, they don't make ghosts. No. When ghost mermaid die, or when ghosts die, they return to sea. They don't become ghosts. And even if they became ghosts, what would they do? hang out in the bathtub of your house and be like, hey, pass me a cigar. You know, mermaid, when they die, they just, they return to sea, they just dissolve. No ghost shit. Where's my horror movie? Where's my horror movie about ghost mermaids? You know, I'll direct it. It won't be very factual, like all of our ghost movies, but this one, you know, it would make for, it'd be entertaining. And you know what? That's the thing about the mermaid story is maybe we give them bad rap and maybe we shouldn't, and maybe we should treat them more as equals, and maybe the mermaid tell story tells us we should have female sailors, or we should have, we do now. The mermaid is a good reminder that women 
like to sing, and sometimes men get enchanted and die. And that's what the mermaid teaches us, among so many other things. It, you know, if you see a mermaid, respect them, don't report them. Just say, mermaid, I, you're real to me. And the mermaid will say, thank you. And if you hear singing in the ocean, do not, 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 put earplugs in. You know that story, like the Greek Odyssey. Sirens, mermaids, same thing. You heard the siren, he put, well, the captain wanted to hear their song, and he almost died. So, if you see a mermaid, don't listen to a song, ear, earplug, or just don't clean your ears, and you won't hear it anyway. And that's it. That's all for today's meeting. It's probably a long episode. I got distracted quite often, many times. I just think the mermaid is a very interesting story. That's a wrap. I'm gonna keep getting, I'll keep ranting if I don't wrap it up now. So goodbye ghostlings, be safe when sailing the oceans, bring your girlfriends along, who knows, there'll be a sea creature later in this book and you could just kick them off. Boom, go, bye. Go spy, we don't need you no more. You know, sacrifice, boom. Or if you really love them, don't sacrifice them. Keep them around, you'll need them, believe me. And uh, yes. Be safe, ghostlings. If remember, if you say, if you see a mermaid, say hi. I know you're real. You're real to me.